Welcome Miami Hurricanes fans around the world and in today's video we are going to tackle a very touchy subject. This is something that everyone seems to have an issue agreeing on. Opinions on this are very mixed and everyone wants to put in their two cents. I mean heck even your cat probably has an opinion on this. Can Miami win a national championship with Mark Rick calling the plays. Again, this is a, a very controversial subject, so I'm going to cover it as best I can. Uh, I will give my opinion at the end of the video, and of course, I would love to know yours in the comment section below. We can kind of talk it out. You know, we'll see what happens with that. But you have one group uh, saying that Mark Rick is just rusty and he needs a little time to improve. I mean, this will be just his third season. So, I mean, that's understandable. Uh, then, on the other hand, you have another group that is practically more or less protesting against CMR calling plays and begging for a real offensive coordinator to be hired. I feel like both sides, honestly, have some valid points, but let's break it down and just look at the facts. In Miami's first season, under CMR, they finished 9-4, and four, which included a victory over West Virginia in the Russell Athletic Bowl. Now, in his second year, this past 2017 season, Miami improved to 10-3, and three, so they got an extra win under their belt. However, they got absolutely demolished in the ACC Championship game. And when I say demolished, I mean absolutely embarrassed. I would know... I was there. It, w it was probably 30 degrees outside, and I drove, I think it was about two hours to this game, and I sat through the entire thing. I did not move because, let me tell you, I wanted to take it all in and remember what that moment felt like. And uh, they also lost, went on to lose their bowl game to Wisconsin as well, where they had an early lead, I believe, uh, in the first quarter or going into the half. Now, last season, Mark Rick received a lot of criticism and negative comments for what seemed to be some pretty inconsistent and questionable play calling at times. But no matter which side you were on, you can't deny that beating FSU, blowing out Notre Dame, and playing for the ACC championship is an improvement over his first season, and it, it appears to be a step in the right direction. Now, again... Looking at the other side of that, the argument is that there is also no reason that we should have lost to Pitt at the end of the year, and the North Carolina game was a little too close for comfort. That honestly should have been a pretty easy win. Uh, one side says play calling. The other side argues injuries and lack of focus from the players. Now, I know what you all want to know. What's my opinion? What's the answer to this question? Here's my two cents. Until all of the golden re recruits are gone, and I mean all of them, every single one of them, and until Rick has been given time to fully develop a quarterback under his wing, because remember, this was Rozier's first season as the starting quarterback, and the year before that, Rick was working with Brad Kaya. So he's had two different QBs, in two seasons. I can't bring myself to point point my finger at him and say that his play calling has hit its ceiling yet. I, not yet. Do I think that it can improve? Yes, obviously, but you're always working to improve. It's There's always going to be something you could have done better looking back, and in the game of college football, that's the point. You're always working to improve and be better than you were the season before. Um, that never stops. Now, 
Would I prefer an offensive coordinator up in the booth surveying the entire field? You're darn right I would. I mean, I, I think he's a great QB coach, and I think that he is a really good mentor, and he's good at developing quarterbacks, most definitely. He's very good at that. Uh, but until we are not progressing, until we're not moving forward, I think we just need to trust the process and see where it goes. Again, his play calling is far from perfect, uh, but that's pretty much every coach in college football. Even given, look at uh, Alabama. The, their play calling is not perfect. It's, it's never going to be perfect. There's always room to improve. But again, I think we need to give Rick... I'm not going to be real specific in, in a timeline or a time frame, but all I'm saying is we improved from the year his first season. He, he His first season was decent. Then we improved, made an appearance in the ACC championship game. If we improve again this season, things could be looking pretty good for us. I mean, things are looking up uh, giving, given the recruiting uh, that we've went through. And I, I think that as long as we continue to improve there's no reason to make any harsh decisions yet and that's just my two cents again i would love to know your opinion on this leave a comment down below and and we can can talk it out i'm sure some people are going to get pretty heated with this because it, it's uh, again it's very it's a very touchy subject and that's okay we're not always going to agree on everything and there's nothing wrong with that so let's just talk miami football down in the comment section below. Do you think that Miami can win a championship under Mark Rick? Do you think that we should bring in an offensive coordinator and he, he shouldn't have anything to do with play calling at all? Just let me know down in the comment section below. And if you have not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so. Uh, for those of you, do, do you like this hat? I, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a sick hat. Would you like to possibly win one for free? Well, all you got to do is be subscribed to the channel. Uh, we're going to do some surprise live streams and do some giveaways and things. There are a lot of things in the works, trust me, that we're working on during the offseason. So we're going to do some pretty cool stuff later on. I appreciate all the love you guys have been showing to the channel. We're over, I think, over 2,100 subs. So let's see if we can keep climbing on that. But remember, guys, we're all one big, happy college football family. But at the end of the day, I got to say it's better when you get to rep the U. College football vids, peace out, guys.